everyone, it's Amanda, and today I'm back with another hotel review. I wanna give you guys a tour of the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress. This hotel is located in Orlando. It's right next door to Disney property, actually right next to the entrance to Disney Springs, but yet it's very secluded. So it's totally away from the hustle and bustle of Disney. It's like, it's kinda of like you're not in Orlando. So I wanna show you guys around. I'll show you the lobby. Uh, the room and then I want to show you my favorite part. I'm wearing my swimsuit. I'm ready. The pool here is amazing. It's 800,000 gallons. It's got caves you can swim through, huge waterfalls, a nice beach area. So I'll show you guys what that's all about and um, give you guys a tour. So let's go. Here's the front of the hotel. It's absolutely beautiful as you drive up. A lot of water features, plants, flowers. If you're a plant and flower enthusiast, you will love this place. It's very tropical. Unfortunately, I will not be of any help identifying any of it because I know nothing about plants and flowers. I kill everything I touch. So I won't be a good, a good guide to the plants and the flowers, but if you enjoy looking at them, which I do, you'll love coming here. It's very beautiful outside. And that continues around the pool area as well, as you'll see. I also want to mention that all the hotel rooms here do have balconies. There's three different levels you can choose from. These are the least expensive and they're called city view rooms. They don't really offer a view of the city. I'll turn and show you guys. So everything's kind of secluded. I mean, you can see a couple buildings over there, but not much. That's, that's just what they call the the room but these are the these are the least expensive then the middle tier is called lake view rooms which has a view of their lake lake windsong and then the most expensive rooms which are all that's only a 25 dollar difference between these rooms and the the top tier but the top tier is called the pool view room that's what we have and i'll show you guys the view from that I also want to say about the pool view rooms, they're very nice to have when Disney brings back fireworks. Currently Disney's not doing any fireworks, but when they do the fireworks, you can see fireworks in a pool view room from Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios. So if you're traveling when the fireworks are back, make sure you get a pool view room and make sure you look on Disney's calendar to see when the fireworks are for that day because it's really cool to see all three parks. Animal Kingdom doesn't have fireworks, but Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, and Epcot's really cool to see all their fireworks going off at once. I'll give you guys a room tour now. We are up on the 15th floor. We do have a room that overlooks the pool, so I'll show you guys that. That's very nice to have. Here is the bathroom area towels and a blow dryer, a floor mat, got some body lotion and facial soap. And here is the tub. We've stayed before in a room that has a shower only, but this one has a tub also. So that's nice. We're going to go out here. The bathroom doors are sliding. And then you can see over here to the closet area, plenty of room to hang your clothes, got a small safe, extra pillow and blankets, some hangers, ironing board. I brought my niece with us today, so we have a room with two beds. Here's the TV area, nice big TV. Some drawers over here to put your stuff. We have a fridge with two complimentary bottles of water in it. That is included in your resort fee. Another area, here's some coffee down here. Looks like they have some Starbucks coffee with cups and a coffee maker, so that's really nice. Plenty of places to plug your electronics in. Here's an area to sit if you want. And the best part of this room is the view. Like I said before, a cool thing about getting one of the pool view rooms um, having to do with the fireworks is that when Disney brings them back, you can see all three parks having their fireworks. So if you're out here on your balcony, um, what you'll see first, this is actually Disney Springs. Um, you can see the Cirque du Soleil tent right there. 
you can see the hot air balloon that takes people up um, then I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it out but way over there like right in this area is a pink building a reddish building that is the Tower of Terror moving on you can see Swan and Dolphin Hotel which are by Epcot and if you see this white building in the distance right behind that is the Epcot ball Ooh, more friends you might want to bring binoculars with you too that way you can kind of see everything from your balcony because that's really cool then over here in the distance right here is the contemporary and if you do bring binoculars you can see that right behind that is Cinderella Castle so you will be able to see Cinderella Castle from your balcony if you bring binoculars which is really cool you don't need binoculars if you just want to see the fireworks when they start back up we were able to see those um, last year no problem so you can they're all along the horizon so you can just kind of look out over it and you see fireworks going off at all different times if you get a city view room Sometimes SeaWorld will have fireworks. Last time I brought my niece here, SeaWorld was letting off fireworks and we got to watch that from our balcony. So that's pretty cool too. There's the pool area again. Getting ready to head down there and show you guys that. That is my favorite part of the hotel is the pool area. It's so much fun. It's so relaxing down there. All right, I'll take you guys down there and show you that now. Okay, I apologize if I sound muffled. I'm inside, so I do have my mask on. Here's the beautiful lobby. And then over there to check in, there's the door where you walk in. They do have a macaw named Merlot that comes out. Not out yet, but I'll get that for you guys. And here are the elevators. They have glass elevators that go up. This hotel, I believe, is 18 stories. We're staying on the 15th. I'll take you guys back to the lobby and show you the marketplace and the restaurant, and then we'll head out to the pool area. Here is Melo, the lobby ambassador. Enjoying his breakfast. Hi, pretty girl. So walking back towards the back, there's Accent Skip Shop is back here. Whoops, a little too far. Lake House restaurant and a nice little market. This market is great in the morning. They've got pastries, bagels, um, Starbucks coffee, and then the entrance is over here. Where you go in the entrance, they have some sandwiches, they have some snacks, um, chips things like that if you forgot to bring snacks for your room. I'll show you guys Lake Palace restaurant. I'm sure the food is good. We've actually never eaten there because we always um, eat by the pool. But and back here, if you don't want to use the steps to go down to the pool area, there's also an elevator that will take you to the first floor, but I want to show you guys how beautiful it is um, when you walk in by the steps because they've got some fountains and stuff, so we're going to go that way. The gift shop isn't open this early, but they do have some Disney stuff. They've got some clothes. You can get if you forgot like a pool cover up or something like that. They've got purses, some jewelry, luggage, and it says they'll open at 9 a.m. All right, so up there is the door where we walked in. There's the elevators and over to the side. So it would be for the left as you walk in is also a little lobby bar. And then these doors and also the doors at the very back of the lobby will lead you outside. So once you come outside, there's, those are the doors we just came out of. There's a pool table right here. A lot of beautiful fountains. Over here is another one. It's so relaxing at this resort. It's very nice to come out here at night too because they do have these little private seating areas that um, have fire pits at them. And there's another one right down there. It's got these beautiful trees with lanterns in them at night. These are all lit up, which is also very beautiful. 
and I'll take you guys down now to show you the pool. All right, so the hotel's over there. The pool's right there. I'm gonna hold off on showing you the pool area for just a moment because they are doing some leaf blowing and cleaning up for the day and that sort of thing. I do wanna give you guys a tip about the pool. They have a lot of really nice loungers all around the pool. And I'll show you guys the other half of the pool on the other side, they've got them over there as well. You know, on a cruise ship, how people will like put a towel on their chair and save it for the day. That's what's done here. So if you want a great spot by the pool, if you want a lounger where you can watch your kids play, if you want a lounger like we did, which is over here on the little beach area overlooking the lake, that's what we like. It's a little more calm and quiet. I suggest getting up early. I'll show you guys where you can take a beautiful morning walk and maybe just, you know, putting some towels on a chair because uh, we came down yesterday and the resort does not feel that crowded right now, but we came down yesterday and everything was taken. I mean, everything on the beach. We eventually found something, but it took like, you know, 10 minutes of walking around. So if you're here early and you want to avoid that, just go ahead and pop a towel on a chair and that way it will be yours. I also want to talk a little bit about the resort fee. They do have a resort fee here. It's $42 a night. Um, resort fees are something that's kind of annoying that a lot of different hotels are doing. It's just an extra way to add on money to your rate. But I do want to say something about the resort fee at the Hyatt. It includes a lot. You get two bottles of water in your room. Those will be in your little fridge. I hope you guys can hear me <laughs> blowing in the background. Um, they have two bottles of cold water in your fridge, complimentary. Um, complimentary for $42, but um, they include a lot of other cool stuff. Obviously the pool area, towels, all that kind of thing, that standard stuff. But let me flip around and show you what else you get included in the resort fee. So as I mentioned when I was talking about the balconies, they have some balconies that overlook Lake Windsong, and that's the lake here at the Hyatt. It's a very nice, calm lake. And included in your resort fee, oh, duck tracks. Sorry, <laughs> they're so cute. There's a lot of ducks around here. All right, I think the blowing of the sand for the most part is, is either ending or moving away so they have sailboats they have paddle boards they have canoes they have kayaks um, as I mentioned in my video of Royal Pacific please don't try to swim in the lakes just assume there are alligators everywhere um, they have cute ducks which is why you see cute little duck prints all over but yeah, they have, they have some swings down there. They have um, all kinds of boat. Oh my God, you're so cute. Um, they have all kinds of boats. And all you have to do is just go up to that stand right there by the cute duck. Hi, friend. Hi. Oh, you're cute. Um, just go up there and tell them which boat you want to rent. And they'll get you the paddles for it. They'll get you the life jackets for it and you're all set. So that's really, really, really cool because that's included in your resort fee. You don't have to pay an extra price. You don't have to do anything. You just walk up there and tell them what boat you want and then you'll be out on the water in no time. There's also a tether ball on the beach if you feel so inclined to play. Another thing included in your resort fee are bicycles. They have a wide variety of bicycles that you can take on the trail here. There are a lot with training wheels. If your kids are just learning to ride a bike and they do sanitize the bikes after each use, they encourage you to. Here's the stand for that. They also have a really cool rock climbing wall. If your kids want to do the rock climbing wall, make sure they wear closed toed shoes. I also want to show you guys this really cool place for kids where they turn on the water jets. They have LED lighting. You can't really see it during the day, but at night it looks really cool. This is right behind the pool with the water slide. And just across from the beach area where they have the bike rentals. So it's kind of a secluded little spot where you can come back here and let the little ones play. They also have a little place for sand art. 
There's a hot tub over here. This is one of the only hotels where I have seen the hot tub is still open. Um, obviously, you know, try to socially distance in it or, but the hot tub is still open if you want to use it. And when the waterfalls turn on, there will be a waterfall of hot water going into that hot tub. There's the other half of the pool. I'll show you that better in just a minute because I want to show you what else is included in the resort fee. You can see it behind the sign. There's a pitch and putt that's included and there's also a miniature golf course. And back where the rock climbing wall was, which is right back here, um, they'll have some golf clubs out for you to do the pitch and putt with. And um, there's also a miniature, a small miniature golf course. And I'll show you where the um, golf clubs for that would be as well. But if you want to do the pitch and putt, you can get them here. They have right handed and left handed golf clubs because Barrett is left handed and we had no trouble finding him um, golf clubs as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, another friend. There's so much wildlife all around at this hotel and I, I just love it. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, you're so cute. All right, this is a little place as you walk further down called Oak Terrace. And it's just a small little area. It's kind of secluded away from everybody. And they have this beautiful oak tree with all these lanterns. So pretty at night. If you're thinking about proposing or something while you're here, this is the place to do it. It's all lit up at night pretty during the day but it's way prettier at night okay so the last thing you come to as you're walking down is the pitch and putt it's right beside the parking lot um i'll show you guys that the little miniature golf course is down this way also so the first thing you come to is the little miniature golf course and this is fun barrett and i played this last time we were here and then further down is the pitch and putt all right so here is the pitch and putt course. I believe it's nine holes. It's open daily from nine to five. Barry and I did this last time we were here. I do not know anything about golf or playing golf, but I can tell you that I had a lot of fun. So um, even if you're not into golf, definitely give it a shot. Each of the holes will tell you how many yards it is from where you're teeing off to the hole. I'm at hole number four. It's 43 yards and it's it's right along the lake. So even if you don't want to play, it's still nice to come down here. Very peaceful and quiet. So yeah, lots of fun. I definitely recommend doing it. Like I said, even if you're not into golf, because I'm certainly not, I still had loads of fun. So here's the pool area. This is only the back part of it. The pool is absolutely huge. The waterfalls aren't on yet. I'm noticing certain things are saying like, like the pitch and putt, for instance, that the rock climbing wall they're all going to open at nine so i'm thinking maybe that's when they'll turn the waterfalls on but i'll definitely get a shot of that regardless and, and insert it for you guys but um yeah so i've noticed that this is this is the furthest back part of the pool i've noticed that this is the quietest part of the pool so if you're coming to like relax and read a book poolside you might want to go all the way to the back but I'll, I'll walk you guys around and show you the rest of it now all right so here's another view <clears throat> and then the pool goes back this way and through these caves and like I said when the waterfalls are on like the caves will be completely surrounded with waterfalls I don't walk you guys through here so I'll show you where the restrooms are as well and this cave hallway connects the two sides of the pool so you can walk it or swim it okay, so men's and women's restrooms right there How beautiful is this? There's what I just showed you. There's the cave that you swim through. There's the fitness club. And there's also another hot tub right over there. Um, sometimes that's less crowded because I feel like a lot of people don't know that it's there. So they go to the main hot tub. There's also a second pool. This one's a little smaller than the other one. It doesn't have any caves, but it does have waterfalls that will turn on. And it's also the pool with the slide. And then you come out to the main part of the pool, which goes way over there. I do feel like I need to say that this pool is not heated. 
so sometimes it's a bit of a shock getting in. Yesterday it was uh, 84 degrees and even then it was it was tough getting in but honestly once you're in it feels great so if you can just get over that initial shock this one is, feels a little warmer i'm not sure if it's heated or not or if it's just because it's smaller but it does feel a little warmer and then there is the slide over there and the slide here is fun because i feel like it, it, it goes pretty quick it never really has a weight so if the kids want to play on the slide or if the adults want to play on the slide like i do there's never really any weight for it Y'all see what I mean about the early towels? It is 8.38 a.m. <laughs> and most of the stuff on the the front, uh, if you really wanted to watch your kids, is, is getting taken. Um, so definitely come down here early. I also want to mention, if you look on their website for the dates when you're coming, they do movies in the pool. Uh, last night was Crudes 2 and the night before was Sonic. So they have some really cute movies for kids and adults playing. So that's something to check out too. All right, so the pool, the smaller pool, the bigger pool. Here's On The Rocks Pool Bar. This is a really great place to get food and drink. It's pretty reasonable too. I got my niece chicken tenders and fries yesterday and it was like eight bucks. So it's pretty, pretty reasonable. And they have, of course, bigger meals as well. They also have a fire pit starting at dusk, Thursday through Sunday. They sell some more kits here. Um, but there's not much in them. So if you if you have if you're coming with multiple kids or the adults want to make them too, I suggest bringing the some more stuff with you so you can make your own s'mores. That's allowed. We've done that before. Um, the some more kits are kind of small. There's like, I don't know, two little pieces of chocolate, two marshmallows, you know, that kind of thing. So bring your own um, and have fun down here. All right. Walking back towards the hotel the pool is on the right the pool bar is on the left. Here's where you'll get your pool towels for the day. And they also have information about all the fun stuff that's going on for the day. They also have sanitizer for your pool chair if you want it. You can also buy pool floats here. The water slide does have a height requirement and they will check it. You have to have a band if you're a child to get on the water slide. So, um, don't make the mistake of going straight to the water slide. Come over here and get the height checked and then get their band so that they can get on because they do check them at the top. You can also rent cabanas and reserve chairs that are poolside and they have some things you can scan. This one's reserved for the day, but you can scan that if you want to reserve it for another day or you can reserve it online. I also wanted to mention the area that I showed you where you can get the towels, which is just as you walk into the pool area to the right. That's where you'll get measured for the slide if you're a child. And it's also where you can get the clubs for the putt-putt golf. Another thing they have that is great is this huge walking trail. It goes all the way around the lake. And uh, this is great for fitness, just getting your morning walk in. It's great for walking your dog. It's beautiful. It's right when you leave the hotel to come down to the pool. Um, it's to the right-hand side. That's where it starts. And like I said, it goes all the way around the lake. There's a cute little barn area over there. And it continues on and it goes way out there. Over there is where we first entered the walking trail. That takes you onto the walking trail. But I wanted to show you guys this because if you come with strollers or something to take the walk, there's the lake house restaurant that I showed you guys from upstairs. That door over there is open you to walk into and the elevator that I showed you from upstairs is right inside there so if you come down with a stroller or you come down with a pet or something and you don't want to take the stairs you can use that elevator to get out to this area as well all right it's 8 52 I'm waiting for nine o'clock to see if they turn on the waterfalls then um, I did want to say I, when I started the video I mentioned that this is right beside Disney property it's actually just around the corner from the entrance to Disney Springs um, Barrett and I have annual passes to both Disney and Universal, but when we come to Disney or Universal, we do not stay at this hotel. And the reason why is because there's a lot to do here. It's very fun. Um, for the price of the hotel, which we booked it, it was $149. Plus they paid $25 for the pool view. Plus you have the $42 resort fee. Plus you have like a $25 parking fee. 
uh, that is too much money, I feel, if you're going to be at the parks all day. When we stay at this hotel, we plan nothing else but staying at this hotel. We're just gonna enjoy the amenities. We're gonna enjoy the pool area. We're gonna enjoy being on the beach area. We're gonna take the boats out, go golfing, that kind of thing. I do not recommend this hotel if you're going to be going to Disney World, even though it's close to Disney, because you'll pay a lot extra for things that you won't get to necessarily use. Yeah, the pool's open till 10. You can come back and use it after Disney, but I just don't feel like you get your money's worth unless you spend the full day here. So if you do want to experience this hotel, what I would do is maybe get like a cheaper hotel for the days you're going to Disney. And then on your final day, when you want to rest before heading home, I would stay here and have just like a rest and relaxation day where you enjoy the area and enjoy everything it has to offer. Because this really is like truly a resort. You're very secluded from everything. You don't feel like you're near Disney. You don't feel like you're in Orlando. So that's my recommendation. I would pick a cheaper hotel. Like next weekend, we're coming over to do Flower and Garden Festival. We're gonna stay at the new Aloft Hotel, which I'll also review for you guys, but that's like 90 bucks a night. That's what I would do if I was coming to Disney because you're not gonna be using the room enough to justify the cost. That's just my opinion. Here's another friend for you. You're cute. All right, another pool chair update. It's 8.58 a.m. and everything up front is taken. <laughs> so, I hate to say that on your vacation, you would have to get down here early if you want a seat, but honestly, you do. All right, 9 a.m., the slide is on and the waterfalls are finally on. Can me show you guys how pretty it is with the waterfalls? All right, this is the smaller pool with the waterfalls. Like I said, no caves in this pool, but they do have the pretty waterfalls. All right, so here's the larger pool. The waterfalls are starting to turn on. There's the entrance to the cave. So it's gonna get a little louder. They started over this way and they've just kind of cascaded over this way. So I apologize if you can't hear me, but they are really pretty. They're also really fun to swim through. I love going through the caves and underneath the waterfalls. If you don't want to go through the waterfall, but you still want to go through the cave, you can. I don't know if you can see it, but this waterfall here, if you go around the corner closest to the rock, you can avoid I would say 98% of the waterfall. And if you're in the cave, the front part of the pool is that way. That's the hotel entrance. The back part of the pool is that way. If you go up and over this little bridge, the other hot tub is on the other side, and I'll show you guys that now. All right, there are people in it. I don't want to be weird and film them, but here's the hot tub. Um, this one doesn't have a waterfall, but it is secluded with the cave and everything. So if you want a hot tub, to be in the hot tub, but you're trying to avoid the sun, this, this is the one you want, the one that's in the cave. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour of the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress. The humidity is starting to get my hair. That means it's time to go swim. So I'm gonna go upstairs and grab everyone else and head down to swim. I hope you guys have a great week. Next weekend, um, like I said, we're going to stay at the Aloft, which is a new hotel, also very close to Disney Springs and Disney. And then we're going to do uh, flower and garden. So I'll show you guys some of that as well. Have a great week. Bye.